Hey guys, happy to be here with you today. We've been speaking about the uh, spirit of deception and walking in truth. And, and I just want to share with you three uh, points that I believe God has shared with me uh, to help me along in that uh, process. Um, and the first one is, is probably the most important, one of the most important qualities that we as Christians can have uh, throughout our life, and that's the spirit of humility. Um, none of us have perfect understanding, and, th and that's, that's a, a truth that we need to hold on to to help maintain that, that, that humbleness. Um, but 1 Corinthians thirteen twelve says, For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. We don't have perfect understanding. Um, and if we can walk in that, then we're always gonna have uh, a teachable spirit about our hearts that, that we're able, are willing to listen and, and allow God's correction into our lives. Um, we need to be able to receive from anyone and from any place. Uh, whether it's it's whoever's in the pulpit on Sunday morning or some, maybe some three-year-old kid in, in Walmart uh, as they're walking through this door. It, it could be um, in, a, in a great book that we're reading, but it also could be from a secular movie. I can tell you, several years ago, I received one of the strongest words that I've ever received from God uh, through a secular movie. It was one line in this movie. I heard it, and it's like God dropped a ton of bricks on my head I mean the, the blood just drained from my from my head and I just sat there in awe because it was so powerful um, God can use anything if he can use a donkey uh, he can use a movie too but so just have a humble spirit and be be willing to receive uh, from the Holy Spirit spirit no matter where it comes from number two uh, there's no substitute for your own personal relationship with God what I mean by that is, is that uh, we can't rely on somebody else's ability to read and study the Word or, or be, uh, be in prayer uh, consistently uh, on a daily basis. And we can't rely on somebody else's relationship with God for ourselves. Now, it's important, let me clarify this, it's important to have a group of people that you can go to that you trust, a mature group of people um, that know the Word and, and that are in touch with the Holy Spirit. Um, it's important to have that group of people around you that you can go to and I've done that many times with our pastoral staff That's a great place to start, uh, but there are many other people too. Um, the prophetic council. I've been to them several times uh, see, Seeking direction and understanding in my life um, So it's important to have those people, but you know their relationship with God is not a replacement for your relationship with God um, we need to be like the Bereans um, who had a healthy understanding of the word and when Paul came and preached to them the good news of Jesus Christ something in their spirit clicked they accepted it but then they went back and they studied the word and said yeah you know what this guy's right um, we need to be like that we need to have an understanding our own understanding of the word and we need to be in touch with the Holy Spirit so when he's prompting us we recognize that and when we hear something um, we recognize that there's some truth to that and then we need to go back and prove it out study it out in his word so there's no substitution for your own relationship for um, your own understanding of the word and your own uh, closeness with the Holy Spirit and recognizing his voice in your life um, and we need that balance it's so important that balance between the word and the spirit um, there's a lot of people that that are, are uh, uh, man they spend a lot of time in prayer and they operate in the gifts but they have no grounding of the word in their lives so they go off on all kind of weird weird beliefs and weird understandings and, and it's the same way the other extreme there's a lot of people have studied the word and and have it memorized but they don't really don't have an understanding um, because the only way that you can understand the Word of God is with the Spirit uh, teaching you. And so you have to have that balance. Um, and only you can achieve, only you can get that through the grace of God by reading His Word, studying His Word, and spending time in prayer and, and recognizing His voice and the Holy Spirit as He speaks to you. No substitute for that for your own relationship with God. 
And number three, the last one, is simple. It's just trusting God. You know, 2 Corinthians 11.3 talks about uh, being corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. And, and when I think about that, the simplicity that's in Christ, what I really think he's talking about there is just hearing God's word and just simply believing it. Simply trusting in God. Um, reading the word. Hearing him speak to you in the spirit. And just believing him and trusting in him. That's really simple. And we get away from that so much. Um, but John 14, 26 uh, says, He, the Holy Spirit, will teach you all things. And John 16, 13 says, He will guide you into all truth. So we need to trust God and his faithfulness. I know the word says, even when I struggle in my faith, um, he's always faithful. That's who he is. He can't help it. He can't deny himself. He's also always faithful. And his promise to you is that Holy Spirit will be both your teacher and your guide into all truth. So just trust in God and relax and just believe his word um, and trust in him that he will guide you and lead you and teach you all truth. Um, so I want to thank you guys uh, for sticking with me today. Um, just remember, humility, no substitute for your relationship with God, and just trusting in Him. Thank you guys. You have a blessed day.